Hello everybody, this is Bud Rich and this is Thunar. Use AI to guess the window. It's just a buzzword, it's just a clickbait title. But in one way we are going to create some artificial intelligence here in our script uh, to, to figure out which window to focus if we don't specify a target directory. And that is uh, the way we, we execute our launch FM now from I, the i3 config file we have just launch FM C for container and then D for instance this is super E and what that will do is create a new window with a home directory and that is not the behavior we would like the behavior we would like is to focus the currently visible Thunar window in the D container here it's pix but it could be vid it could be dot and this is uh, uh, more tricky than it might first seem because we cannot really um, know which window is visible here by using our, our normal uh, tools you know like wmctrl lx brings a list of all visible windows you can execute this command with a capital g option as well and then you get the position of all windows as also which is nice but it still doesn't help us uh, to know which window is, is visible in a, in a container. <clears throat> Only way uh, is to ask i3. And when you do so, i3 will uh, give you this. Get tree. Hey, i3, what's focused? And then you get this, you know, and it's like, ah. You can parse this to jq to get a better output. Just a little tip there. And what we want is this focus array here, which every every container, even if it's only even if a container only contains one container, it will have this focus array with a list of of uh, containers, and the visible container is the first index here in this array, <coughs> and the the uh, yeah, and, and this list is ordered in the last focused order. It's not uh, not uh, listed in like uh, left to right or anything, so it's whatever. But uh, this is this is really difficult to do. We have to know which container and stuff here. So I I have already made a wrapper script for this uh, called i3 vis uh, with, which you can use for many different things. I think p if you just execute it with p, you just get some standard uh, uh, information about the visible containers you can see now we only get a list of three windows even if it exists many more windows here it only prints the visible ones and here is actually the, the containers we could use this but it's not uh, perfect a be better way is to specify a class here as the argument for, for i3 with this and then we could say thunar d for instance now it will print the container ID of the visible Thunar D window. If I do this, now there doesn't exist a, a visible Thunar D window. And now we will get an empty string. Should probably add an error message like, like I have in i3get, but whatever. Um, so we will use this i 3 visvis to see if, if uh, the window is visible. And I have made a list here. If no path argument uh, focus is uh, no path argument focus visible. Use i3 vis, vis, vis to get the visible state. If it's visible, focus uh, focus that found window. Uh, another another scenario could be like like it is now. Uh, there doesn't exist a, a visible Thunar D window, but there exist other Thun not visible Thunar D windows. And in this scenario, we also not want to create a home directory uh, new window. Instead, we, we will focus one of these. Uh, so we will focus a Thunar D window, basically. But uh, if it doesn't exist any Thunar D windows at all, like now, then we create a new window and, uh, and we set the, the target directory. So we have to refactor and rewrite our launch.fm uh, script quite a bit here. And I think the first thing we should do is refactor it and, and create functions now. 
because we will need to do this focus sooner and launch sooner. That's something that we will need to do on uh, multiple places in, in the script. So instead of having uh, co code application, we will use functions. And in Bash uh, works like this. I think I've mentioned this before, but you have to, if we create a function here, that's called uh, focus sooner, for instance, we need to define the function before we call the function. Other, otherwise, Bash will not know uh, that it exists, kind of. And this is a bit annoying because that means that we need to define the, the functions here uh, before, so, so we are sure that, that they are defined before um, they, they are called. And I don't like this to have functions at the top of the script. I, I, I rather have the main functionality of the script at the top of the script. And the best solution to do this is to create a main function. And this is like common practice and, and it's actually good practice. Uh, and then um, at the bottom of the script, the last thing you do is execute this main function with uh, the, the command line arguments like this. Now we could, we, if we want to do, we could move the whole script here to this main function, and, and it would work uh, as expected actually. Now it it almost doesn't make any difference, of course, and no visual difference either. We could we could actually test uh, just to see that it, I'm not lying. Yeah, it created the the home directory here, so it the script works. And, but now it executes the main function and uh, whatever. Uh, okay, focus sooner. And we already have this focus and launching functions here. Uh, the focus function is very short, it's, it's just this part. Uh, so we can do focus sooner. And I want a command line argument, and that command line argument will be container ID here. And we steal this and paste that into our focus tuner function instead here. And then we do a local variable here. It's always recommended to use local variables as much as possible inside your functions. Uh, I will not uh, go into any details about that but local variables are your friend and i named it here con id instead of container id there so now we have the focus uh, thunar um, mm, 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 function we should probably make a test here to make sure that we have a container id but let's not do that now uh, the next function i wanted to create is launch thunar And that is a bit more uh, complicated because that is this whole thing that we do here. You know, we, we, we get the rules. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's it's all of all of this. here now so that we shouldn't or maybe maybe not let's remove these comments here and see if we need any this looks a bit weird shouldn't have this at all right hmm what did I do what did I do Ah, we have this exit stuff here. The, none of this should be included here. There, this is how it should look like. So now we have the launch sooner, and I don't think we, we have, well, we have the rule here, uh, which can be a, a local variable here. But otherwise, we will use environment variables inside this uh, function. Local rule, there are no other local variables here. Good. And now uh, our main function looks like 
this at the moment. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, refactoring done here. I, I, I know th this might look strange, but it's we, we just need to do it, whatever. Okay, let's use i3 with this. Um, and i3 with this, uh, finding the, the visible Thunar window, that's only something we need to do if we don't have, when we execute launch FM with a path. That, that we did in the last video. Then we did, don't need to, to see if it's visible or anything. Then we will do a test for that, you know. Because then we know exactly what window we're looking for anyways and we don't care if it's visible or not. Uh, but if we don't have a path, then we need to use our artificial intelligence here to, to find out which window to, to identify. And this also uh, brings me to uh, we shouldn't set the, the target directory here that shouldn't be an, an environment variable or at least it shouldn't be uh, set here because uh, we do this because we want to test this i3 vis vis if no path is specified meaning the command line option doesn't exist or whatever and we could also move our environment variables outside. That, that's also good to do in common practice to have the environment variables outside uh, the main function, for instance. <clears throat> so now we've got this. Uh, and here, the first thing we do uh, in our main function is to see if, if we have a, a, a target directory. At We can do that with a Z. Then Phi like this. So if target directory uh, variable is empty, then we execute i3 with with class uh, Thunar D and target container here. That should never be empty because we set a default for it before we parse the options here. So, so we can use that right away here now. There. Um, and we can also do an echo here. Uh, no path specified using AI. I have to stop this. Um, so, launch FM CD. I don't not sure exactly what will happen here now. No path specified using AI target container D. Yeah, we didn't get any out of this blank line here. That's from I3 WizWiz because it didn't find any any uh, container. If I execute it again then uh, it should also print no path specified, but we should also get the container ID here now because it finds the window. So we could store this output of i3 with this here in container ID is equal to the output of this command. Uh, and then we test here if um, Said container ID, then echo no visible lunar window, else echo found a visible window in. again mm, no path specified using AI I found a visible window in the D container if we close this no visible 
no path specified, no visible thunar window. Uh, so if it if it do find the window, if it is if there is a visible window, what we want to do, then we just want to focus that window. So this is when we use our um, focus thunar function here, and this is why I wanted to create functions because already two places in 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 this script we we use this function. Uh, found a visible window in. Oops, God damn it. And then we focus that uh, window and pass container ID as an argument to our focus tuner function that we have defined. Uh, where is it? Here. Okay, that's good. If it doesn't find uh, a visible tuner window, then we see if there uh, exists any thunar windows at all. And then we use um, mm, i3get here again. Uh, to search for, for a window. But now we don't have a, a specific path and, and we just want any existing uh, thunar window in the, the target containers. We remove the, the title argument here. Uh, maybe we should do this in one line now. Yeah. Or maybe, wh whatever. Uh, so now, now we're only searching for a, a thunar target container class uh, window. Store the value in container ID. Do a, a test again. Is container ID empty? Then there doesn't exist any Thunar windows at all. Uh, else, echo there at least uh, exists a window, but it is not visible. Phi echo no such window exist save um, yeah let's test it here see what we get now we get uh, found a visible window in the container now it's not visible but it exists there at least exists a window but it is not visible and then it focuses it anyway because it continues with the script here don't don't worry about that uh, but if we uh, kill this window and now execute this, it should print no such window exists. And if no such window exists, then we do uh, launch Thunar. But this is also where we um, where we also need to set the target directory because that was empty. In this whole uh, case here, Th this have, have been empty, and we set the, the target variable here. Uh, and we actually don't need to do this. We can do it like normal here now, because we know it is empty. Forget the quote. Um, and I think that's all we need to do there. But uh, if container ID is not empty after we search here, then it found an existing one and then we focus uh, that container ID. And now, yet again, we need to focus the lunar container ID. There. And now we have our uh, artificial intelligence thing going on here. And this is only uh, done if uh, the target directory is not specified. If it is specified, then we, we don't need to do all these uh, nested tests here. So we can add an else here. Ah, we should also format target maybe we should put that in a function as well echo 
target directory is known. Yeah, so maybe we should uh, 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 create a function called let like set set deed or something. So so we uh, format the the, the 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 target directory like this, since we are doing it at two places here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's do that. Uh, we can take this copy. set deed or escape chars and then let's just do this so this function will only print f dollar one which is the argument uh, and replace any tildes with home and print the escaped version of it uh, 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 uh. then we can change this to uh, uh, uh. not sure what I'm doing here now. escape and then a stupid long variable name Same thing here, but this time we have the default directory as the argument and not the target directory. There! <laughs> it's so easy, it's so easy, it's so smooth. Okay. No, <laughs> does it work? Will it work? I don't know. Let's do CD. Yeah, no, no visible Thunar window. There at least exists a Thunar window. So now it focused, it never created. Now it was hard to see since it was, wasn't visible. We focus this and execute it without any command line arguments. It should just focus now the home directory there that is, but not create a new one. Uh, but home directory is the default, so this is probably what would happen uh, otherwise as well. Now it seems to work now, and we can test with the B container, and now it focuses this one. So now it actually works, uh, <laughs> and I know it, this might just look like complete insanity to make all this uh, stuff here to, to get this functionality, but it's well worth it because it. This was really annoying. I, I, when I first started, noticed that how nice it was to have uh, tabbed containers like this with the different Thunar uh, uh, windows, uh, I was like, ah, P it. We also need to add some tests and stuff to, to make sure the directories exist and so on. But I, I found it really nice to have these different uh, tabs, but it was extremely annoying when I press super E, I never knew which window would get focused, I, I would constantly switch tabs and stuff, I, I was like, there must be a way to, to always focus, yeah, have the computer know what I want, you know, and this is how we do it. And it's not that sure, now we are already up here to 131 lines, but it, it, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay. Ah, it feels good actually to be, because now it's only fun and cool things uh, uh, left to do, you know, F adding functionality for special menus, we can rename files and move files between the uh, uh, containers and and all kinds of things. Uh, I think in the next video uh, we, we create a, a little menu uh, that will replace this whole location bar. 
because that's bloat, you know, who, who, who needs that? We can build a better version yourself with the favorites uh, that, and the history and all kinds of stuff. We do that in the next video. Uh, I say thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye bye.